It's no surprise that business at Torrance is flourishing. Hi, I'm Nona Melkonian, and today you're in for a treat, literally. Come along as we visit one of the newest and sweetest businesses in the city, the Sugar Free Shack, a bakery offering alternative ingredients without sacrificing any taste. Join me as I find out for myself on this episode of Common Sense. Sugar Free Shack is a bakery that concentrates on sugar-free desserts, just using a sweetener instead of real sugar to make it healthier for people. The philosophy of the Sugar Free Shack is to provide customers with healthier options without depriving them of sweets. We want to make sure we promote the healthy aspect and continue to encourage them, but they can do it with a smile. The concept came from myself along with my business partner, Judd Matsunaga, and my husband. We just wanted a healthier bakery. A healthier bakery catering to everyone, especially those who often steer clear of sugary treats. There's so many people that suffer from diabetes or other people that are trying to be more self-conscious about what they're putting into their bodies, and we needed something that we were going to be able to cater to them and not have them still feel like they're guilty for eating all the stuff that's being bad or, you know, just trying to be a little healthier. Coincidentally, my husband ended up being diagnosed with diabetes. Uh, he's been able to have it under control and be good with it, but that was another thing that was pushed, like, okay, we need to do a uh, diabetic-friendly bakery because we need to watch your blood sugar levels and having all this cake around the house is not good for you. So it was like, okay, we need to do sugar free so that you can still have your sweet tooth being taken care of without harming your body even more. We need you around for the long run. With a newfound motivation, JC was determined to find an all natural sweetener good enough to be used for every treat she made. It's a whey sweetener, so it comes from whey protein. Whey sweetener is an all natural sweetener. It comes from the lactose in the milk, but it doesn't affect people with lactose intolerance. It's 75% lower in calories to regular sugar, and it's very low on the glycemic index. I did a lot of research and a lot of trial and error to get to the point where I found a sweetener that was going to work. I needed no aftertaste. I needed no side effects after it. So I really was trying everything that was on the market just to make sure I, I got what I needed. The recipe I used the most was my vanilla cake. That was kind of like my go-to to make sure it was going to look the same way as if using regular sugar. A recipe that JC's been perfecting for quite some time. I just love baking cakes. It was box cakes that I used to do. But I love being creative, I love being artsy, so my background is in art. I've taken art classes before, and I needed to find an outlet to continue my creativeness. And baking and being able to decorate a cake became the perfect match that I needed. It took me quite a while to find it, but once I did it, it just hit the ground running. I'd just been doing it for the past eight years, and mostly it was from home. I got certified as a home baker. So I kept doing it, and got a good following, got a great response, and I needed, it became my passion, the goal, to open the bakery. And after almost a year of attempting to get the go-ahead from the city, Sugar Free Shack finally got its green light and opened its doors to the public. One, two, three. Our grand opening was just yesterday, so we were able to open doors. It's been an amazing response. Everybody's been telling us how long they've been waiting for us to open up. We've been at this location for quite some time. It's a family-run business. It's myself, my husband, there are the owners. They're in here every single day from opening to closing, along with my three kids. So they go to school, but we pick them up and come back. And it's, it's really nice that it is family-owned because we're our own bosses, so we're able to still have our kids with us as long as we need to. My daughter's been loving to learn how to use the cash register. When we first talked about opening up the bakery, she wanted to be a cashier. So we encouraged, we taught her how to use it. 
she has seen that customers leave tips and she wants to take tips from the tip jar so we had to tell her no that's going to be for everybody but we told her if a customer directly hands you a tip on your hand then you get to keep that so but we told her you can't ask for tips you know just if people want to do it that's going to be their decision well what she does is on her apron she keeps her money and as she's helping a customer and they're asking her questions and she'll say oh and people have been giving me tips and she'll bring out the little dollar that she has which they think it's adorable i think it's hysterical they want to tip her more so they give her the money so that's how she's been trying to rack up in some tips and jc's husband george is also enjoying taking part in the family business we are in the kitchen now or as i like to call it behind the scenes with george surrounded by all these delicious treats so what are we doing today? Today we are gonna decorate. This is where the magic happens, so we're decorating. But before we start, I need to make you an official member of the team. So I have a couple gifts for you. Oh. One, your official Sugar Free Shack visor. Oh my goodness. You wanna put that on. How cool is this, And then this, two, guys? your official huh? Sugar Free Shack apron. I've got my apron and it matches with the pink. There we go. And okay. then of course, we're always trying to be sanitary, so you need one glove. Okay, so we're gonna start easy and get progressively harder. So we'll see how we, how we go. Okay. So first we're gonna start decorating one of our cinnamon rolls. So this is just the topping. So we get these made and then we get our assembly line and you just kind of let it hang and then just do, do a little swerve, yeah. make it look as appetizing as possible. All right, here we go. There we are. That's the best that I can do that's right the there, stuff. right? That's solid, that's a it's solid not bad. B plus. We have to give a discount on that one, but it's fine. No, I'm just kidding. So these are pretty good. Do you want to give it a try? You want to taste it? Oh, are we tasting? Are we, All yeah, right. Are we eating? I'm going to get in I there. Are, yeah. Yay. All right, guys. Here we have it. Sugar-free cinnamon roll. Oh, my God. This is so good. It's just a delicious cinnamon roll. Yes. I don't taste anything different that would make me know that something is unique about it, other than it's really soft and moist and delicious. Yes. I love it. I made this myself, so I can take the credit <laughs> for it too. Yeah, so tasty. Now normally with icing like this, it's made with like what, powdered sugar, traditionally. Yeah, powdered sugar, and that is also sugar-free. So. so how did you guys make this? Um, with our sugar substitute, it comes in both a powdered sugar form and a regular form. But then also, we can uh, you can put in a food processor and grind up, grind it up to turn it into that. And it's all natural sugar. All natural, no chemicals. It's made from whey, whey protein, which whey, to get scientific, is the watery part of milk. So that part gets turned into a sweetener. But it has no sugar, no chemicals, all natural, healthier. But most importantly, it doesn't impact your blood sugar levels. So that's what we're looking for. We get a lot of people who are diabetics that come in here, so that's that's the key for us. Yeah. I'm gonna try it one more time because now I'm gonna see if I can taste anything unusual about this icing. Go for it. Literally, exactly the same as icing would be. I am not just saying that. It's amazing. Yeah, that was Very our goal good. and we feel like we accomplished it. Yeah. That. These are our low carb keto chocolate donuts. These are just flying off the shelves right now. We can't keep them on. We can't bake them fast enough. And these are just low carb options. So it's made from almond flour. The carbs are less and there's no sugar. And you can eat these all day and not feel guilty at all. So you grab it and this is just the chocolate glaze. Okay. So grab it, dip it like almost halfway. Yeah. Give it a good twirl and then you can just turn it a little like, the yeah, get the excess off that and then beautiful. set it there. Grab it just like this and we're dipping it in giving it a little whirl, wipe off the excess, there oh, you go. Oh, hey, that's really good for your Chocolate first Chocolate deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> for a first time, right? I'll yeah, it's you. pretty good. All right, cheers. Mm, which yeah. one is my favorite? Napkin, yes. Wipe off the excess. This is pretty good, so um, when do you start? When do we hire you? <laughs> <laughs> you can come in tomorrow. Yeah, I'll you can start tomorrow at 4 a.m. <laughs> My husband is so happy that he can choose anything that he wants and know that it's not going to affect his blood sugar. He's been concentrating on his health and it's been great for him to still be able to satisfy the sweet tooth without affecting his blood sugar levels. And he's stayed well balanced. He doesn't even need 
um, to keep going to the doctor to keep watching because everything's been great for him. Being here, he's just excited and he's able to explain to people his own story with it. So there's something in common that we have with a lot of our customers that are coming in. My favorite treat right now is the churro donut. So it's a low carb donut that's made with almond flour and our sweetener, but it tastes just like a churro. And everything is baked, so being baked is already healthy. Then it's made with our sweetener, which makes it sugar free. And then it has almond flour, which makes it low in carbs. So that's a treat that's guilt free all around. And it's been also one of the most popular ones, but that I need to hold back from eating myself all the time because then I'm not gonna have enough for my customers. And it's the response from the community that makes it all the more special for JC. We went to a bowling alley. It was a bowling league um, competition that was going on, but we were able to offer all our treats to everybody for a sampling. Nobody knew that it was sugar-free until they had already ate it. Then we went into our explanation of what it was, and some of them were just so stunned because they immediately always shut off. Like, anything sugar-free, that's not for me. But they couldn't believe it. They had nothing to say. They were just shocked. They were like speechless. And all I could say, this is sugar-free? Yes, it's sugar-free. There's a taboo sometimes when it comes to sugar-free because people are very turned off by the word sugar-free. But I want to reassure people that I have really dedicated the last two years to make sure that the product was going to be good. I've concentrated and I've heard what usually are the negative feedback that sugar-free has. And I want them to come and taste it and see for themselves that it's just like the real thing, but it's healthier for you. And if you're a diabetic or you're just watching your blood sugar levels, it won't affect you and you're gonna love it. It gets me teary-eyed when they're telling me how happy they are that this bakery now exists because now they can celebrate an eight-year-old birthday coming up with a sugar-free cake that's custom-made, that looks really nice, and they can enjoy it like normal kids because they've been having to only have like a little pinch of cake here and there for the past seven years. So that's been amazing. That's been like such a, a relief, but reassurance that I'm doing something good. I, I, this is what I wanted to do and it's, and it's shown. For more info on the Sugar Free Shack, check out their website at Sugar Free Shack and add them on social media, Sugar Free Shack on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Nona Melkonian and that's just common sense. To watch more Common Sense episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube page, Torrance City Cable. And while you're on the web, head to our Facebook page, Common Sense Torrance, to see what happens behind the scenes. And hey, why not give us a thumbs up too? Thanks for watching.